In this video, I'll show you how to render your song. The quickest way to render your song is just to click on the Wave button and then click on Export Song as Wave or another format. If you want MP3 or WMA, MP4, M4A, you choose that here. I'm going to choose the WAV format because that uh, is the highest quality. You'll get the biggest file, but highest quality. And that gives you a standard Windows File Save dialog. And uh, just make sure that I'm saving where I want to. Here's my songs folder. That's where I want to save the song. So I'm going to save it there and I'm going to type in a name. Just click save. It'll take a moment. Bandablox is putting all the tracks together, mixing all the different sounds, putting it all in one file. And when it's done, you just go to where you saved it, and there's the file. Now, if you want a few more options when you render a file, there's another way to do it. You just click on the WAV file first, just like you did before, and click on Save All Tracks with File Name with Options. So, this gives you a window with different options. Uh, for example, Merge an Audio Track. If you've recorded something, like a vocal track or a guitar solo, this will include that. Uh, this song doesn't have an audio track, so it won't matter what I choose here. And uh, include two bar lead in. Uh, this is a good option to uncheck sometimes. If you're presenting a song to someone else, you don't want to hear the count in. You just want the song to start right away, so I'm going to uncheck that. Or you can add a delay at the beginning. That's just uh, add some silence or at the end. I'm going to take out the lead-in, but give a second of silence so the song doesn't start immediately. And some other options you have here is normalize. Now what that does, it makes the song as loud as possible without clipping. And another option here is one WAV file per track. That means that the bass will be in its own file, the piano will be in its own file, the drums will be in its own file, the melody will be in its own file, and you also get a mix of all of them together. So uh, use this if you're you know, in a more professional situation. If you're going to take your uh, song renders and move to a DAW program, and you use the Choose button, to choose where you save. So I'm going to save in my songs folder like before. I'm going to call the song 4 with no count in. Hit save and then to render the file click on this big button DXI direct render. And when the file is done just click close. Just go to Windows Explorer, open the location where you saved the file, and there it is.